So you are running out of space on your hard drive. Uh, one way to fix this issue is to enable files and folder compression in Windows. In my case, I have here uh, some build tools for uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. If I examine the properties, I have 1.87 gigabytes. Uh, size and size on disk 1.88 gigabytes so what I can do is click advanced compress contents to save disk space apply okay and now it's uh, going to perform this uh, file and folder compression so in the meanwhile uh, you noticed here that uh, there's a difference in uh, size between the size reported for uh, the files and size on disk and this is larger uh, this happens because uh, there are probably some uh, smaller files uh, that uh, take up a complete um, block on the hard drive uh, so their size is uh, larger on disk than the real uh, size of the file. As you notice this uh, happens quite quickly. I have not uh, uh, played with uh, the speed of the video so it's actually taking a couple of minutes on my uh, laptop and this is not quite a recent one. So. Uh, it works. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that not all the files can be compressed. If you have, uh, for example, images or executable files, uh, these probably uh, will not benefit uh, that much from uh, being compressed. Okay, so it finished. So now the size is still reported to 1.87 gigabytes. This is the actual size of the files, but the size on disk uh, this time is uh, 987 megabytes, so it's uh, roughly half uh, of the previously reported size. Uh, so you should uh, go ahead and um, uh, find the folders suitable for uh, archiving. So uh, have fun with this setting and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe, like the video and leave comments. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.